Hello, my name is Blair Connor, Application Engineer with DLP at Texas Instruments. This training video will provide a brief overview of the DLP NIR scan and basic setup and operation instructions to quickly get started with your new evaluation module. The EVM consists of an optical engine and several circuit boards. The optical engine contains a broadband near-infrared tungsten lamp, sample holder, optics, a cooled in-gas detector with an analog-to-digital converter circuit board, and Texas Instruments DLP 4500 NIR digital micromirror device. The DLP NIR scan also has a thermal electric cooler driver board to control the in-gas detector's temperature, a lamp driver board to power the tungsten lamp, and a system board featuring Texas Instruments Sitara processor and the DLPC 350 DMD controller to generate sample spectrums. To set up and use your DLP NIR scan evaluation module, you'll need a 12 volt DC power supply, USB cable, and computer with an internet browser. First, plug in the 12 volt DC power supply and wait for the lamp to turn on. Next, connect the USB cable to the EVM and computer. You'll notice two USB connectors on the DLP NIR scan. One port connects to the Sitara processor and the other connects directly to the DLPC 350 DMD controller. Use the Sitara's USB port to operate the DLP NIR scan as a spectrometer. To directly control the DLP 4500 NIR DMD, use the Lightcrafter 4500 GUI and connect the USB cable instead to the DLPC 350 USB port. Now that we've set up the DLP NIR scan, we'll open its software and measure a sample with the quick scan feature. First, open an internet browser on your computer and enter the evaluation module's IP address. By default, this IP address is 192.168.0.10. Please note that the EVM uses RNDIS drivers and the computer could take several minutes to recognize the device. When the EVM homepage loads, you'll see several icons, quick scan, custom scan, and information. Clicking the information tab takes you to a new page and will show you the NIR scan software version and also provide links to the user's guide, reference design files, and technical support. You'll also see two navigation buttons at the top right corner, a back button and a home button. We'll go back to the home page so we can take a quick scan of our sample. Now we'll click the quick scan button. First, you'll need to take a reference scan. If you're using cuvettes, place an empty cuvette in the sample holder and click Run Reference Scan. If you're instead using a transparent or semi-transparent sample, leave the sample holder empty and then click Run Reference Scan. After taking the reference scan, place your sample in the holder and click Perform Scan. Now that we've placed our sample in the holder, we'll click Perform Scan. Once the scan is completed, a graph will appear showing the sample's absorbance. From this point, you could either run another scan or download the data to your computer. You can download the data by clicking Download Spectrum Data. A new tab will open a text file that you can download to your computer by right-clicking with your mouse and selecting Save As. Choose a file name and select a directory to save the file to. You can use this downloaded data to identify an unknown material by comparison to a catalog of spectral characteristics, determine the presence or concentration of a substance in a sample, and much more. We've now gone over how to set up the evaluation module, take a quick scan, and download the spectrum data. Please read the user's guide to learn more about the evaluation module. If you have any other questions about the DLP NIR scan or DLP technology, please visit our EDE forum online. Thanks for watching.